Donald Trump speaker. Let us pray. O oh God, we come together in your name in this parliament to debate our nation's affairs and pass laws for the betterment and welfare of all Fijians. Guide us in our deliberations and grant us the wisdom to do what is just and fair. We ask you to bless our beloved nation and grant every Fijian peace, prosperity, and equal opportunity. Help us to serve our citizens with honesty, integrity, and without fear or favor, to keep the trust of those who have sent us here. We seek your divine guidance to continue to build a better nation for all Fijians. In your name, amen. amen. Honorable members, please be seated. Secretary General. Confirmation of minutes. I call on the Minister for Fisheries, the Honorable Semi Kuroila Bissau, to move this motion. You have the floor, sir. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, sir. Honorable Speaker, I move that the minutes of the sitting of Parliament held on Thursday, 20th February 2020, as previously circulated, be taken as read and be confirmed. Is there a seconder? Honorable Speaker, say, I beg to second the motion. Honorable members, the Parliament will now vote on the motion. The question is that the minutes of the sitting of Parliament held on Thursday, 20th February 2020, as previously circulated, be taken as read and be confirmed. Does any member oppose the motion? As no member opposes, the motion is agreed to unanimously. Secretary General. Communications from the Chair. Honorable members, I welcome all honorable members to the final sitting day for this week. I also welcome members of the public joining us in the gallery and those watching the live broadcast of the proceedings on television and the internet. Thank you for taking an interest in the proceedings of Parliament. Secretary General. Questions. Speaker, oh, no, I, I wish to raise a point of order and uh, seek your ruling. You have the uh, On the contents of the, uh, today's order paper. And uh, I'm referring in particular to Order 34, Rule 5, and uh, Order 35. If you allow me to, uh, to read that uh, out there. Please. Order 34, Rule 5 says, Order 34, Rule 5. Yes. It says that uh, 
government business takes precedence over any other public business item except on a Friday. And then, if you read that together with Order 35, which refers to end of the week statement, uh, Order 35 2 says, one hour is allowed for each three members, may each speak for 10 minutes, with a 10 minute right of each reply. And then this uh, reply by the ministers responsible. Uh, that to me uh, makes it clear that uh, item number in Schedule 2, Honorable Speaker, you look at uh, Schedule 2, uh, it lists out the speakers. And the first on the list is uh, Honorable Alvik Maraj. So my reading of Order 85, Order 84, Rule 5, uh, tells me that that should be either taken out or put at the last item. I know that uh, the other papers have been approved by both sides, but still we have to comply with the standing one. So uh, I seek your ruling in relation to that. Are we finished? Yes, I'm finished. Honourable members, when we come to that item, I will address that item. Thank you. I have made some changes in the order, but there won't be any deviation from those making end of the week statement. That, that will take place. It's just the order. Honourable members, we will move on to the first honourable speaker, sir. I also rise on, uh, on a point of order, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. In addition to what has been raised by the by honourable Noekula in the way the format has been, the way the questions and the, <coughs> and the end of the week statements have been formatted and agreed to by both sides. But it's just a matter of consistency. I also like to add, sir, if on question 47, 2020, and the answering minister to that particular question is the Minister of Waterways, but again, in 51, 2020, it's to do with the same thing, but the, the question is being directed at the Minister for Economic, uh, it was his economy. So, matter of consistency, sir, and taking into account the oath of office that has been uh, sworn in by the substantive minister now, including budgets, budget allocations, hold on, you listen, including budget allocations. <coughs> you are fully answerable and accountable there. Yet this particular question is directed at the Minister of Economy. I only wish to raise that, sir. Thank you. You, you, have, you have raised the point, Honourable uh, Member, the order paper has been approved by the Business Committee. It's, it's, that's the thing. I haven't altered the order paper. All that I've done with this session is alter the order of speakers. That's all. So I don't see any problem whatsoever. So we will move on. Honourable Speaker. Order, Honourable Speaker. Yes. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Under, or, under Order 74-7, I seek a clarification of your ruling. Uh, by flying minute. If you notice, Honourable Speaker, there are only seven questions today. 
uh, we're supposed to be eight, but one was excluded um, uh, as a decision uh, taken by vote in that flying minute, Honorable Speaker. The question by the Honorable Leader of Opposition 232 of 2019, which was agreed to, to be included, which was moved from the September sitting, Honorable Speaker, I seek a clarification um, whether or not that should really be a decision of the Speaker and the members of the business committee note rather than it being put to vote again because it was already agreed by the business committee and cleared for the September sitting. So I seek your clarification on that ruling, Honorable Speaker. Honorable members, as you know, the business committee has approved this and the vote taken and the advice through the flying minute. That was done. You know that very well. Now, if there are two members of the business committee on one side opposed and two members on one side agree, the speaker makes the ruling. It's as simple as that. It's a reflection of what takes place in the actual business committee. The flying memo is no different. <laughs> So, we'll move on. Now, who is it? The first oral question for today, I give the floor to the Honorable George Veganathan to ask question 45-2020. You have the floor. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I rise to ask question 45-2020. 